North of the border, Environment Canada now warning of snow squalls in northern and southern Ontario that could bring up to 60 centimeters of snow in some regions. Local snowfall amounts range from 15 to 20 by this afternoon in Barrie and then up to 60 centimeters by Sunday in some areas including Simcoe, Great Bruce and Niagara. With more on this massive snowstorm, we're joined live this hour by Environment Canada's Jeff Colson. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Okay, so let's start with the current conditions in Buffalo. What are we seeing there right now? Well, the, the snow is falling in Buffalo right now from the uh, the lake effect uh, event that they are forecasting that began last evening and is expected to continue into Sunday morning. Uh, and as we was mentioned earlier, uh, total snowfall amounts for the Buffalo area by Sunday morning could be on the order of 60 to 120 centimeters. So quite a significant event, uh, not just for an hour or two, I guess the real concern is uh, this could be quite a long lived event. As we said, it started last evening and could continue right into Sunday morning. Can you speak a bit, Jeff, about the trajectory of the storm? Which areas will be hit hardest and when? So lake effect snow is driven by what the low level winds are doing. And right now it looks like for Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, those winds will mainly be from the southwest. And that's why, as you see, the yellow areas there indicating areas uh, uh, all the way Norfolk into Niagara Peninsula uh, for uh, the northern side of the border, and also Prince Edward County into the Kingston area off of Lake Ontario. And where the reds are, we have activity coming in off Lake Huron, affecting uh, Gray and Bruce counties, uh, parts of Huron Perth, as well as the southern end of Georgian Bay and east of Georgian Bay. All of this driven by what the low level winds are doing. And as long as they stay from the southwest or the west southwest, these bands can lock in and give significant snowfall accumulations over a period of time. I think a lot of people, Jeff, might be listening to this story, remembering that time last year when we saw 55 centimeters of snowfall in the GTA and I believe just a 24 hour time period. How does the storm compare to that? Well, certainly this is a, a comparable event, but it is going to miss the GTA. Given the fact that the wind direction is going to remain from the southwest, uh, Toronto, uh, Mississauga, Scarborough, uh, northwards into York and Durham regions, uh, we're, we're going to miss out on the majority of this event. But it's important to note that if you're planning travel today and through the weekend, uh, down in through the Niagara Peninsula or northwards up to the Bruce Peninsula, the, uh, the Perry Sound area, those conditions are going to be quite significantly worse than what we're experiencing around Toronto. So what we're seeing here, really not much of anything in Toronto itself, but in other parts of southern Ontario and western New York, uh, quite a significant snowfall event. How can people prepare for this, Jeff? For, for folks in the affected area, certainly uh, having that 72-hour preparedness kit at home, uh, enough medication for yourself and your family, depending on what those prescriptions are, uh, staples like diapers and toilet paper, uh, bottled water, batteries for your flashlights in case there's power outages, just a general sense of preparedness at the home, but also important to be prepared uh, for your vehicle as well. So if you haven't got the snow tires on, obviously getting those on as well in the in the coming days and having a car emergency kit uh, to protect yourself in case you get into trouble while you're on the road. Uh, Jeff, before I leave you, just want to ask, does this say anything about what we can expect throughout this winter season when we see so much snow so early on in the season? I think it's a little too early to tell because actually the forecast as we get into December is calling for a little bit warmer than normal conditions. Uh, and in general, uh, the winter right now for southern Ontario looks to be a bit warmer than normal. So this is still quite a significant event happening in the month of November, but not necessarily an indication of what we're looking for for the winter in general. Okay, good to know. Jeff Colson with Environment Canada, thanks so much for your time and your perspective. We appreciate this. Thanks for having me.